It's a sort of version of Carry On TV, really. It was a gag. It was good fun. See, the cliché in television circles goes, well, we haven't got a lot of money, but actually that's very liberating, because that means we can use our imaginations. Bollocks. If you ain't got a lot of money, you got crap television. We are Britain's first 24-hour cable station, and we're the channel that are going to bring you the stars, the stories, the gossip, and the views that you care about. Didn't see much point replicating Panorama. We neither had the intellect or the cash to do it, so we went down our own route. And our own route uh, involves such uh, television classics as uh, Topless Darts. The News Bunny, quite a funny idea, but by week two, the costume was falling apart and they couldn't replace it. Bill Clinton faces further embarrassment today as more sordid details of his sex life are exposed in Monica Lewinsky's testimony. She reveals an encounter with the president while he was using crutches for a stiff knee. Nobody was ever going to sit down and say, oh, do you know what, I'm going to put live TV on for a couple of hours. But some of the ideas they had, Rusty, the bouncing weather midget. Hello, yes, it's me, your bounces went man, Rusty Goff. Yes, it is still cold because the cold, chilly winds are still with us. Then he'd get up to Birmingham like that. He'd really have to bounce to get up like that. Up in the middle snow, it's clearer skies, but possibly showers, but still remaining cool. And he could just about get to Edinburgh, right? And then he'd be done for. Up in Scotland, though, although there's a frost in Argyll, it's the best chance of sun. But there's still a bit of wind and temperatures are only getting to 16 degrees Celsius. So anybody who watched it hoping to find out what the weather like was in the Hebrides, they were done for because he couldn't bounce high enough to get it. Right? And on one occasion, he went boom to give it a special go to get up to Fife. Right? He went boom, bang. He just about fingered Fife, lost his balance, and, and live on TV, shot off the... Uh, Shot off the trampoline. For your bounces, weather forecast, Rusty Goff, signing off. It was much more like if you take your kids to the circus. It was fantastic. Glamorous women walking around, very small people wandering around, huge tall people wandering around, people wearing exotic stuff. You know, it was, it was great. Over the last five years, we've thoroughly enjoyed making programmes for you. We've had a laugh and we hope we've made you laugh too. <laughs> It's a one-line joke, isn't it? It's a funny idea, in a kind of cheesy end of the pier way, like lunchbox volleyball for the ladies in the house. A funny idea for one minute. After that, you've got to throw some quality at the screen. Which is why, whenever people talk about TV nightmares, they've got to talk about live TV. TV really has got a criminal record that would make the whole of strange ways blush. In fact, with so many channels around these days, the potential for TV felony would keep Nick Ross busy until hell freezes over. But enough of me rabbiting on. See you after the break for more evil misdeeds. And please, don't have nightmares.